Looking out onto a taker lifestyle makes you wonder, is it really an improvement from the so-called savage lever culture? Or is it just building a taller building that is already collapsing? We also think, are we, what are we doing in our lives? Do we lead mostly lever or taker lives? For most of us in a place like Hong Kong, it's, mostly, it's usually the latter. I lead my own taker life just as anyone else does. But when asked some discussion, when discussing worldview, at some points I had previously denied ever wanting to do, when they were put into a context where I would agree with them, I had no choice. I, it made me think more. For example, diet number six is one of the questions, asks if we are willing to grow meat in a laboratory. I had thought no immediately. I thought that was disgusting. But through reason, I started thinking of a situation where I could eat it, I would eat it. One, would that, one of that would be a food shortage or in a spacecraft if I was to be an astronaut. On the other hand, health number seven, I previously said that I, had, I did want a plastic prosthetic arm. However, through reason and understanding and just my general knowledge of medical advances, I uh, either I had chosen to go with the more technological view. Either way, my decision was was swayed by these current developments and thoughts. It, there is an ethical border that we must cross if we truly want to find our path, whether that is a taker or lever path. We want to find it, and while many people and current events try to lean you, usually towards the more taker lifestyle in this culture, remember that ultimate that remember that ultimately the choice is yours. Thank you.